hello guys so I'm going to explain you how did I solve this problem arrays and sums this problem is from July EG uh, contest and the problem statement is you are given an array of elements and what we need to do is we need to build a set out of these elements how would you build the set so for example let's take this one this array which is given to us which has all the numbers from 1 to 8 and one way one set that we can build is we can just keep three out of these numbers and the rest of the you know, values will be there in the set so if you if you can see here we can just block one any any of one index and then we can use all the other remaining elements to build one set now what we need to do is we need to uh, figure out whether it is possible to get a subset sum of this particular set so it's this subset is not from this given array this subset is from the set that we have newly built and what we need to find is the subset if there exists any subset sum whose value is equals to the value that we have blocked all right so for example here as you can see uh, if we consider 8 that means the uh, element with the value 8 if we block it then there exists may i mean out of this sub uh, out of this set that we we can form after blocking 8 we have multiple subsets which gives us the uh, sum as equals to 8 all right and similarly you can see for i equals to 2 that means the value at the index 2 which happens to be 2 only there is no possibility that uh, possible subset sum which give which is equal to 2 once we block and uh, this 2 and uh, build a new subset so as you can see 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 there is no possible subset which sum would be equals to 2 all right so what we need to do we need to first uh, we need to keep on blocking each element one by one and we need to find out whether uh, the subset sum exists or not so here is the full example for 1 to 8 you can see only 1 to 8 is not possible and apart from that all of them are possible you can try to yeah here the explanation is also given so let me explain you how did i solve this all right so let's take this example all right here we have this elements 3 1 7 10 2 and 9 and 8 and we want to block 10 so how would we know in uh, whether there exists a subset sum after blocking this uh, this one so what we could simply do and uh, like going through the naive approach is to one to build the uh, this subset this set actually uh, after removing 10 that is build new set every time uh, after ignoring the element that you are currently at so for example we can have three we can have one we can have seven and so on like two and nine and eight right and then on this newly built set what we could do is we could try to find whether there exists a subset uh, whose sum is equals to 10 or not all right so this is what we can do and there is a very general uh, approach uh, general dynamic programming based approach that we can take to find this out like whether this particular sum exists in this subarray or not right i'll i'll share a very good resource which you can use to understand more about this but the problem with this approach is that we are doing a lot of com uh, computation every time like we are building this new uh, array every time and then we are going to search for a subset sum and because now this array is changed so we have to uh, build the whole uh, solution from the beginning all right so this dynamic programming based approach would work only if this sub uh, this set is fixed but here we we said that once we take some element out we are going to change the array and so the computation has to be done from the very beginning so what we can do to avoid building this one so if we look closely what are we actually looking for we are looking for a subset sum of 10 in this given sub uh, in this given array apart from considering this particular value so we know that th if this particular value itself existed then we would always find a subset sum whose value is equal to this one we could simply take this particular element and that would itself be the sum of the uh, subset sum so 
this gives us a hint that what we can instead try to search for whether there exists a value a subset sum which exists more than once in this given uh, array so for example what i'm trying to say is if we are going to look for 10 then what we can do instead of uh, removing this one building a new array and then finding the subset sum on this one what we can instead do is we can try to do a subset sum here on this original array itself and just find whether there uh, how many such subset sum exist if there exists more than one that means there was such possibility where we didn't consider this value and we were able to build uh, some equals to this value itself all right so this is what our approach should be and we are going to solve it using dynamic programming approach i'll show you, you in a moment that how can we solve this one and uh, just one thing that would i, I would like to uh, explain is that because that we are going to count the subset sum i mean count how many such subset exist for every value we might see some overflows uh, because there can be many such sub arrays or subsets whose uh, sum is going to be equals to a particular sum and because this uh, this array is uh, around uh, 10 raised to power 4 values yeah uh, let me quickly see yeah 10 raised to power 4 so there can be many such subsets all right so to avoid that what we can simply observe here is that we don't want to actually calculate all of the count of the subset we just need to know whether there exists um, more than one such subset or not so we just need to cap our answer to maximum two right so let me uh, explain you my code and i hope that will further clear all your doubts right so this is what my code looks like so here as you can see what i'm doing for every element i'm just checking whether the count of uh, such uh, subset sum is greater than or greater than one or not if it is greater then only we are saying that yes there exists such i mean the answer in that case would be one otherwise it would be zero and this is where we are doing this uh, magic like calculating the the answer and the count of such subset whose sum is equals to a given a of i in array of i what i'm doing here is at any moment i i'll check whether i have already reached on the end of this array that means there are no more elements left to consider then in that case i would check whether my sum is i mean the remaining sum that i need to know need to get is equals to zero or not that means if i have already consumed on my sum if it is zero then yes this is a valid subset otherwise it's not a valid subset and if we have seen this state previously so we would just uh, return the calculated answer otherwise we have two options for any particular um, in element we can either consider it, consider it into our subset or we can ignore it so this particular uh, statement is about ignoring this current element and moving on to the next one and we can only choose to include it into our subset uh, if this particular element itself is uh, smaller than or equals to the sum that is left to consider so this is the case and if we are cons going to include it then the remaining sum should be subtracted from uh, this particular elements value all right so and what we are doing is we are uh, as i said and uh, that to avoid the overflow what we are doing here is we are capping the answer to maximum two so whichever would be smaller i would uh, uh, make my answer equals to that one and in the end i'm just storing the calculated value into my dp and because the dp uh, the, the number of element can be up to 10 raised to power 4 and the maximum sum that we can have within an array is uh, the array's value itself and the biggest value is set to be up to 1000 so yeah this is what our dp table should look like so yeah i hope i was able to explain you guys and uh, if there is anything unclear or if there is there is any doubt or feedback for me please let me know in the comment section below and yep thanks for watching this video guys